Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 25 in chapter 33. Chapter 33 is about lens and object, optical instruments. We look at this system. We have two lens and F1 and F2 are given. right? And we also know another thing is about the object distance for lens 1. We call it D01. And the distance between these two lens is 25 centimeter. This is given quantities. First one, we need to know the final position for the image. So now we can say the image is the final position. We can call it di2. In this two lens system powers, we can remember the image for first lens is the object for second lens. So we, we need to find the image distance for the first lens, di1 at the very beginning. So we can see we write down the simple the thin lens equation. The O1 is given, the I1 we don't know yet. F1 we know. So we can solve this equation. Get the D I1. Right? The I1 function looks like this one and input all the given quantity. You get answer there. Now you can see the D I1, the dis the image distance for first lens from first lens is 30 centimeters. The distance between these two lines is 25 cm. Therefore, the DO2 becomes 25 minus 30 cm, negative 5 cm, negative 5. Now, we write down the thin lens equation there for the second lens. You can say DO2 is, uh, we know there, DI2 we don't know yet, F2 we know. So we can solve this equation, get function for DI2, input all the given quantity, get answer there. The second one is to find the overall magnification. So the overall magnification is a product for the M1 and M2. Sorry, M1 and M2. So we write down the definition for M1 and M2. You can see all the quantities are given, so you can get the answer there. The third one asks you to find the, uh, to plot a graph for this system. See, uh, we have the lens 1, the lens 1, and the lens B. So we can say lens A or lens B, right? And the, you can say the object distance, as we know, is 60 centimeter. So 60 centimeter. But F1 is 20. So this, this one should be three times larger than F1 plus there. Now we find this image for the I1. How can we do that? We can select two points, right? First one is the light travels in parallel. So if the light travels in parallel, and another side, it must go through the FA, this is a fossil point. FA, it must go this way. Right, go this way. This is this, this light. Another light, see, it goes through the fossil point FA plus. And after this converging lens, it should be parallel. It should be parallel. So the intersection for this two dash line is there. This one is called IA. This is the image for the lens A, right? And it, then it becomes the object for lens B. Now we take it as object for lens B and find the image for IB. So how can we do that? First of all, you can see we can consider this one. See, this light goes through the object, this is a IA, and then goes through the center of the lens. So the light shouldn't change this way, right? This way. It goes through the center. So there is a line goes this way. Let me change, sorry, let me, let me change the color. See, this light point is there. And there is another point connecting these two points. Because this light goes through the center of the lens, the, it shouldn't change. So this, this area is the one that looks like this one. Another light is this one. See? It goes through this way. And it uh, just uh, goes through the fossil point FB, right? Because it's a fossil point. The fossil point, the light shouldn't change. So it goes this way. And then in this way, we get it there. This is IB. Thank you.